So let's talk about user event before submit script. So let's say for example, I have opened an existing sales order in edit mode and I have filled out few more values in the sales order record. And then when I click save on the sales order record, now the browser will send a request to the server to update the modified or updated values of that particular sales order to the database. So when the NetSuite application server raises the request and before it commits the values to the database, the before submit will get triggered because we have the user event script deployed on this application server on a sales order record. So before committing the values or the data to the database, our user event before submit will get triggered. Right now here I have an user event script and I have a before submit entry point and this before submit entry point has one script context as an argument. This has access to our new record and also the old record of this sales order record. Let's say if I have deployed it on a sales order record and it also has the script context dot type which will give me the value whether it is in view or create or edit on and coming to the code i have three logs first log will just point me out whether the before submit triggered or not and also along with that it will show me the what is the script context dot type and the next log will show me the old value of the memo let's say i am opening the existing sales order and when i click save when the before submit gets executed it will try to find the old value of that particular current record and also there is another log if I let's say I have modified the value of that MMO field and this will show me the new value of that particular record. I am also throwing an error by saying error not a valid record and if you just see I have not added any kind of conditions or any validation I am just simply throwing an error saying error not a valid record. If you wanted to do any kind of use cases or any kind of validations before committing the data to your database you can add all those validations here. So I have created script record and this has been deployed on a sales order and the script record has already identified it as before submit function and let's go ahead and test it out. So I have already opened the sales order which is an existing sales order. In this existing sales order right now in the memo field there is no value which is completely empty. Let's say I'm going to update the value of memo with let's say before submit test and let's click save on the sales order record. Now when I click save on the sales order record the request should be made to the application server and the application will try to commit the data of this sales order to the database so before committing our user event before submit will get triggered so let's click save on this and if you clearly notice we have received the error which we just mentioned in our code which is error not a valid record which means our before submit has been triggered now let's click go back now from our script record let's click on the execution log and let's click refresh on this. I can see my execution log which is, is before submit triggered on type edit and also the old value of that memo was empty and there is a new record value which we entered which says before submit test and it should also show our error and we don't have any try catch block so let me just change the type to all and I can see the error also here on top it is untitled and the error is not a valid record.